Today I'm going to be working on canning some blueberry jelly as well as going through all of my canning stuff and making sure that I have all the supplies and everything I need for this year's upcoming canning season. As you guys saw in one of our latest videos, we just planted our garden and that's actually been about two weeks ago now. So everything in the garden is coming up good, but part of raising a garden is making sure that you're prepared to deal with the food whenever it comes on. So today I am going to be going down to the basement and making sure that all of the canned food down there is still good making sure that none of it come unsealed or anything like that. But I'm also gonna be bringing all of that canned food up here to the main level of the house because we actually set up a cabinet that is now gonna hold all of our canned food and I'll show that later in this video. But first I'm actually going to can some blueberry jelly. I already got my blueberry juice in here and it is starting to heat up. And then once that's heated, I will add the sugar and the pectin to it. And I've got my jars cleaned in over here and I need to put these in some boiling water. The canner is cooling down, so that's why it is popping. We got the jars of blueberry jelly over here, and then I just finished up dishes. So here is the canning cabinet that I was talking about, and I've already packed this stuff up from the basement, and some of it I've actually bought this year, and I just set it right here instead of taking it down to the basement, just because this is the dining room, so the kitchen is right through that door. And this is our dining room. It's going to be our dining room, and... 
It eventually will have several of these cabinets in here. That is just because we do not have enough space for our canned food and the basement we found is not a very good place. We're having, I don't know, it's not really problems with the basement. It's just where the above addition room above the basement that was built on in the 70s, it's not insulated at all and we just don't have the money to insulate it. So we need to bring all of our canned food into the climate control part of the house because we are using window units in the house right now. There's one in this room actually and it blows into the dining room and kitchen. So the main parts of the house that we live in currently, which is the old original house, those are the rooms that we cool and those are the ones that we heat. So they stay more of the same temperature year round. And so this room, obviously we still have wallpaper, the ceilings are down, like this room has not been renovated. The floors are really bad shape still. There's just random stuff sitting everywhere that we need. But for now it just works for us because we don't, half of this stuff doesn't have anywhere to go, but it just works for us that so while we're in the renovating process, we started bringing some of my canning stuff in here just because eventually the dining room, it'll have a kitchen table and chairs, but also its other functionality is going to be to store canned food. And we're going to do that with these cabinets. So this is actually an old TV cabinet and it had storage in the bottom. So it already had the shelves, but... And I already have some stuff in there, but I need to go through and like wipe all the shelves out, clean it, and then re-put everything back in there organized. But we're not going to paint it or anything. We're just not worried about that. The main purpose of this, we did build the shelves just so that I could fit more food in here. And it had these like boxes, I think to hold, like hold your TV stuff. I'm not really sure, but they had two of them right here and you couldn't put anything under it but it used to be an old tv cabinet essentially and it had the sliding doors which they don't slide anymore because we had to put brackets for the shelves but we really customized the top of it especially so like this will hold my jelly jars where it's so short and then the top will be pints and then quarts and then as you can see on the bottom that could hold a half gallons and stuff where it's bigger but there's a lot of storage in this cabinet and it's just a quick easy way to store your canned food and it honestly looks like an old cabinet I've had this forever. We actually got it for free and it does look a little bit old. It's not old. It's like 20 years old. So it's not vintage or anything, but the details on it do help it match our house a little bit better. So my long-term plans for this cabinet is for it to always stay in the dining room. I'll eventually probably paint the outside whenever we actually redo the dining room. But for now, it's just going to stay like this and it is going to serve a purpose as a food storage cabinet for our canned food. And it works out perfect just because it has the doors so no sunlight gets in. It stays cool in there. And it just helps to eliminate a lot of the problems. And it's hidden so it's not like you walk in our dining room and see a bunch of canned food. Of course you see that, but that'll all be gone eventually. <laughs>
And as you saw, I was cleaning off the jars because some of them I just stuck in here and I had never wiped them down or taken the rings off yet. And those were canned this year. So all of this stuff has been canned this year, which isn't much. And then also on the kitchen counter, I still have the blueberry jelly that needs to be brought in here after it cools. But the rest of our canned food is down in the basement and I'm going to go start bringing it up. But as you can see, pints are stored up here and that we can store these five deep and half pints on this shelf, which they're six deep. And then quarts, they're able to be stored four deep on these shelves and I think five on this one, just because it sticks out further. But on the bottom half of this cabinet, we're gonna use that for gallon and half gallon storage. The reason why we did so many shelves is because you're not supposed to stack canned food on top of each other. So we really try and avoid that. And also we store ours with the rings off. I know some people will store theirs with the rings on, but we just don't just because we've had food unsealed or anything like that and we would like to know that it's bad just before we even try opening it and it's actually how we check them it's easier that way you don't have to take off a lid and make sure that the seal's still good you can just grab them and pull up and make sure that it can hold its weight this is our pantry in here in the kitchen and as i use canned food i just run down to the basement so i'll just refill these shelves and it's kind of like having a built-in grocery store just down in your basement the basement temperature is fluctuating quite a bit and not staying as constant as i would like it to so i'm actually going to work on taking these out because i'm pretty sure that those are completely empty and then there's not much in these so i'm gonna condense some of these shelves down to see if i can get another shelf of canned food like this that can be used Okay, so I was able to rearrange some stuff, but we still have that, which I may take down just because it's like peanut butter and green beans. But honestly, we do not buy that much like pantry food from the store just because we have it pretty much all except for like noodles and oats. And so I just put that down here in this basket and I put our oil, vinegar, and syrup and stuff like that back there in that one and tea. So I was able to open up that entire shelf and then if I needed to, I can store up there, but I just don't. But at least now we have an extra shelf that we can store our home canned food on. So here's what we have left on our shelf down here. And as you can see, a good majority of it has been eaten, but we do need to get this stuff upstairs so that we can start eating the rest of it. Like I said, we're not gonna store our canned food down here anymore. It's just not climate controlled enough. But as you can see, the basement is a great place to store our jars that aren't being used. So all of these are empty. Some of them are new, some are used, but it is a great place to store that. But it's just not a great place for the food because back during that winter spell, whenever we lost our heat, that's whenever a lot of these jars unsealed and I went through them and got rid of everything that was bad then. But also I've noticed that several more have unsealed. So that's why I'm checking all of them by picking them up by the lid.
I've already got all this packed up. Me and Ben did. Ben is still down there carrying up more. So while he's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and clean these jars and wipe them off because they've been in the basement for almost a year now and they need cleaned and wiped off. And then I'm going to start putting it away up here. But some of this is pretty old. Like some of it's from 2019. We made sure that all the seals are good. All the color looks good. So we are safe about our canned food and everything like that. But it does need to be eaten just because it is losing nutritional value and stuff at this point. So we just need to go ahead and eat it. So I just now finished putting all the canned food up here on that top shelf. It is the next day, but I'm currently working on washing jars that were down in the basement. Some of them were just extremely nasty. This is where we're going to store our empty jars that we don't have the boxes for because it's nice to have them in these flats. That way I grab one really quick and just take it into the kitchen and know exactly how many jars I have and not have to count them out forever. And it's easy to look at and know exactly how many you have. But whenever they're in the cabinet like this, they're kind of hard to tell how many you have. But what I'm going to do is store the empty jars in here and refill these first so I'll can this year's food first out of these clean jars that will be in here. And that way wherever I pull the empty jars from then the canned food once it's finished can go back in its place. So I officially got all the jars completely washed and they are now clean. There's still a few over there drying and then these need to be packed to the bottom of the cabinet and put away. But I'm glad that it's done and now I'm ready for canning season. Mm -hmm. 